first we'll be taking a look at the objective lens of a basic binocular, remembering that two diagrams will essentially give you your binocular. So in binoculars, the objective lens, the lens closest to the object that catches the light rays, is always converging. As you want the light rays to refract to the principal focus and form an image, not diverge in several directions as it would through a diverging lens. So as I was saying, the light rays from the tree, which is beyond 2f in this video, they travel to the mirror. Now the light rays that are parallel to the principal axis, they converge at the focus, while the ones going through the optical center continue their path, and they eventually meet to form a smaller, real, but inverted image, but also consider the notations in the bottom left corner. Now, what would happen if you placed a diverging lens right before where the real image forms? Well, there no longer would be that real image. Instead, the light rays would continue to travel as they did in the previous diagram. However, when they reached the concave eyepiece, they would diverge through the concave eyepiece and reach the viewer's eye. Since the human brain cannot accept that light bends, our eyes will extrapolate the light rays to form a magnified virtual and upright image. That's exactly what we call a Galilean binocular. Telescopic binoculars were first seen in 1825 when invented by J.P. Lumiere. They had the same concept as a refracting telescope where both lenses were convex. So as discussed before, the objective lens would do the same thing by converging the light rays in order to form a real inverted image. As the light rays continue to travel, they hit the convex eyepiece and converge towards the focus where the person's eye is. Our eyes extrapolate the light rays in order to form a magnified inverted and virtual image. However, what do you do if you wanted to view a tree on land? It can't be inverted, so there's a problem. Soon, there was a scientific solution, poroprism binocular altogether. So starting with the objective lens that's converging, it does its usual job by converging the light rays in order to form a real image. From the real image, they hit the poroprism and make a 180 degree turn per prism. This flips the image to make it upright, as you can see the top arrow is at the bottom, and the bottom arrow is now at the top. When it hits the converging eye lens, our eyes extrapolate the light rays in order to form a largely magnified, virtual, and upright image. Putting it all together, you will get your poroprism binocular. Today there are many design variations. The world's current largest telescopic binocular 